Hello you lovely people, welcome to the Geek but I'm Penge and welcome back to Fallout 4 Explosives Only. So Betty is here on the Pridwin. She's cutting a bit of a contrasting figure because obviously everyone else walking around in big suits of power armour or with their brotherhood gear on. Whereas Betty, <laughs> Betty's just in a dress with some high heels on, some crazy hair and some very, very fashionable glasses. So yes, you're looking very unusual, Betty. So last time on the adventures, not of Betty, but of... The Silver Shroud. Still no good? Still no good. Uh, yes, the Shroud took on Sinjin. Went all the way through the hospital that he was hiding in. Fought him at the end. The Shroud won. So Sinjin was dead. But alas, so was Kent Connolly. Kent did not survive. Poor Kent. He'd had very little chance, to be honest. He didn't do very well. He was killed pretty much in the initial explosion. I don't think... There was anything I could do. With explosives only, I don't think there's a way that I could have saved Kent. I think it was I think it was a foregone conclusion. I suspected beforehand that he wasn't going to survive. Sinjin literally stood on Kent, pointing a gun at his head. And it was a bit, well, I have to throw something that explodes at you. It is no doubt going to hurt you. In hindsight, should I have thrown one of the hallucinogen grenades? Maybe turn Sinjin against everybody else and let Kent escape? I don't know, but I think... I still think that Kent would have got caught in a blast somewhere. So, I th yeah, Kent's fate was sealed. I think when he got himself kidnapped, I think that was his fate sealed. So anyway, we did that. We fought them off. Then we saw a little bit of Betty at the end when the shroud was put away. And now we are here on the Pridwin because we have a little bit of a mission for Liberty Reprimed. So we've got to go and speak to Dr. Lee, who I believe is hiding over here. So at the end of the last part, we saw Liberty Prime, but Liberty Prime is in bits. Liberty Prime is not very well. He, she, it is in a massive pile of bits down in the airport and they're trying to build it, but it's not working. A bit like that guy up there is trying to walk, but that's not working. Liberty Prime is also not working very well. So I've got to go and speak to Dr. Lee about something or other. I can't remember what it was, but there you go. I have to talk to her anyway. Hello. Dr. Lee, if you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. It's funny you should say that because, uh, because I am here to talk to you about... Hello? Hello, Brotherhood Scribe. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm glad you could join in this conversation. Okay, uh, let's go for you promised to help, because you bloody well did. You promised you'd help us. You're right, I did. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Because I'm very, very persuasive. Okay, why are you reluctant to help? Let's ask her about that. Did something bad happen in the past? Why won't you help us with Liberty Prime? I originally left the Brotherhood because I was tired of being stepped on and used. First, there was the water purification project, designed to freely benefit the entire Capital Wasteland. Even though the Brotherhood allowed it to be activated, they wanted to control it. But that wasn't enough. They forced me to help design Liberty Prime, turned my work into a weapon of war. I had enough, so I left. It's as simple as that. Okay. But you need to save the Commonwealth. That's what we got you here for. Please help. Because we care what happens to the Commonwealth. You know, if anyone else wearing a Brotherhood of Steel uniform said something like that, I'd laugh in their face. But coming from you, it sounds like you actually mean it. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online. But we'll get it done. Is that all it took? Is that all it took? I basically had to go, come on, stop being a grump and bloody get on with it. Okay, fine, right, you are. Well, that was surprisingly easy. <laughs> I thought there might be a little bit more to it than that. Ooh, oh, a plate. Oh, good. Why would the... <laughs> Here you go. Here's a work area for the uh, for the power armor. Quick, put a plate in this box. It's very important. Is there anything I've not stolen from around here? Might be some stuff. No, okay. Right, so what's next? We need to go back, presumably, and tell Proctor Ingram. Okay, so I think that's what we shall do do just as a point while i'm uh, going up to get in my power armor and going to meet proctor ingram because we have to get out of here and climb out the pruder and blah blah i am using a different bit of recording software for the first time i am using obs not used obs before but i'm using it now so apologies if the recording quality is different somehow if it's not as good or whatever i don't know if it's going to be better or worse i'm not entirely sure uh, also, I've entirely forgotten how to get out. How do I get out of here? Where's the door? 
Okay, I've gone. I've gone completely mad. Okay, hang on. Let me get out of here, and then we'll carry on talking, shall we? Maxon might appear compassionate, but I can assure you, the Institute will face his wrath. Last person that disobeyed Captain Kells ended up scraping rust off the Pridwin's hull from the outside. Proctor Ingram? Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? I like her. I like her. She's got good, solid principles. I think she's basically saying, right, I'm the clever one here. You need my help. Get out of my face if you want this to work. I like that. Um, no. What shall I do? I don't know what to say about that. I don't want to say sorry about that. I like it. Uh, was this a mistake? Let's put that. No, it wasn't a mistake. Hey, we're talking here, right? Yes, but I'm considering what to say. I'm thinking. My internal monologue, Ingram. Come on. Uh, yeah, come back later. Let's see what that says. Maybe I should come back later. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We might not be the best of friends, but we'll get the job done. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're going to have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. Oh, I love electromagnetic actuators. But please, just in case I've forgotten, you explain them to me just so, just so I can check. Just so I can check that I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that, that's it. What do the actuators do? Pretty simple, really. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're going to have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Thank you for explaining limbs for me there, Dr. Lee. Okay, yes, fine. A little bit patronizing. Okay, so... Ooh, plasma cartridges. Steal those. Yes, I like the way she said, oh, we've got plenty of stuff at the airport. But I have been robbing all your stuff. Quite a lot of things that I've been stealing from you. I didn't know there were things up here. Four missiles. There's a bag. Oh, I'll take all that pulse my laser pistol. I can flog that at some point, so that's rather good. Okay, good. Never went up there before. <laughs> it's worth doing. Let's just have a quick check over this side as well. Anything over here? Anything over here that I should be borrowing? You know, long-term loan. That's that's the words. No, nothing over here. The guys over that side, pitifully undefended. Okay, what do we need to do? What's the uh, what's the list for the stuff that we got to build for these actuators? Let's have a quick look. Okay, so here's the shopping list. High-powered magnet, screws, fiber optic, circuitry, rubber, and steel. That's to make one. So, obviously, I need one high-powered magnet because the other teams are going out to find the others. However, all the other stuff, screws, and fiber optic, circuitry, rubber, and steel, I will need to multiply by four because I need to make four of these actuators because, as Lee 
So what Patronizer pointed out, he's got four limbs. Oh, thank you. So, yes, I need to go and grab all those things. Now, I believe I have these anyway. I could probably just go back to Boomtown and grab all these. I realize the high power magnet might be difficult to find, but out of Max and I have confidence in your abilities. Good luck. Yeah, I think I can go back and get all these from Boomtown. So let's take a quick trip back home and go and grab all of that stuff. I should leave my power armor here. I trust, trusting in you, Brotherhood, I trust that nobody's going to run off with my power armor. If they do, there shall be consequences. There we go. Back at Boomtown, we have the high-powered magnet. I did indeed have 10 of those, so I could have just used them all, to be honest. I could have took four of mine over, but never mind. Your Brotherhood teams are going out scouring hospitals. They might be quite disappointed to find that I've got bloody loads of these high-powered magnets, which is good. Uh, 12 lots of fiber optics. The hot plate has got enough circuitry in for the 20 circuitry and also the screws, because when we put the circuitry in, I imagine it'll break it down for the screws, which is fine. 20 rubber, 40 steel. We've got the whole shebang. Right, how do I make them? How, how do I craft these things? Are they, are they back at Liberty Prime land? I assume they're back over there. Let's go back to... Here, what does it say? Construct electromagnetic actuators. Okay, maybe they're a special thing. Maybe they're here. I imagine they're quite big. Are they under special? I guess there might be a special thing. No, that's the robot workbench. Um, yeah, okay. I don't know how to build them off the bat then. Yeah, okay, I'm going to guess we need to go back to Liberty Prime itself because I imagine we're going to tack them onto Liberty Prime. So let's go back to the airport. Okay, it seems I have to build them here on the loneliest workshop in the world. Nothing around apart from a load of generators powering absolutely nothing now because this thing's bloody broken, never mind. So here we go. I imagine I can craft them in here then. Electromagnetic actuators, there we go. Uh, so I can't build them for some reason. Why can't I build them? It says build and I can't. It's not, I can't select it. Build is not a thing that I can choose. Okay, I've got circuitry, I've got screws, I've got steel, I've got fiber octaves, I've got rubber and I've got the high power magnet. I don't know why I can't build those. It's a little bit confusing. Oh, I have to actually literally, what, build them on the floor? What, and then just leave them here? Okay, well there's one, there's two, there's three and there's four. Is, is that good? Speak to Proctor Ingrid. What? I just leave them lying around? Okay, fine. All right, let's go and speak to Ingram. Ingram, I built a load of really, really important, very complex things and just left them on the floor over there entirely unguarded. Hello. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, his offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. Hang on, didn't I go and get you a load of bloody nukes from Fort Strong, whatever it was called? Is that not what was in there? It was packed full of nuclear devices. <sighs> Fine, okay, yes. Do you know what? I might, no, no. I'm not gonna go sarcastic. It's the Brotherhood, they're my friends, but yeah, all right, no problem. What do you want me to bloody do? Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. Okay. So, we build them then? Can I build the nukes like I built the actuators? I could build you a thousand nuke casings, right now but we've got nothing to put inside them. The Mark 28s have a specialized nuclear payload that requires the correct balance of fissile materials in order for them to detonate properly. In other words, I'd love to mix you a cocktail, but I'm all out of liquor. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation, which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. 
We're fairly certain this included the stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. Oh, it's the Pointy Pyramid building. There was a purpose to the Pointy Pyramid building. Fine, okay, yes. I'm fairly certain. No, are you fairly certain? What does that mean? Fairly certain. Am I going to question her whether she's fairly certain? No, I've been there. I'll head out there. Don't you worry, folks. I'll head up there immediately. Good, because that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the Glowing Sea. I suggest you head out there first and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. Okay, lovely. So we've got our next bit of quest. So yeah, let's just check, just confirm. Yeah, speak to Scribe Halen, and Scribe Halen is all the way down here, right near the edge of the glowing sea. Waypoint Echo. Ooh. Yeah, it's that thing, isn't it? The Sentinel site. So I could, in theory, just fast travel right there, right now, and do all this. But I think that's it for the Liberty stuff at the minute. Liberty Prime is doing okay. They can do a bit more work on him because it does seem to move on rather alarmingly quickly, doesn't it? So let's go and do something else. I'm tempted to just do this. Butcher's Bill. In fact, you know what we can do right now? Let, who the, uh, this, I don't know. Talk to Bobby. I don't know who Bobby is. You've just appeared out of nowhere, Bobby. I don't want to talk to you. It's a bit scary. Let's go and check on our friend Virgil. While we're here, we can fast travel over here really quick. In fact, let's put the power armor on. Then fast travel over there really quickly. Let's go and see how Virgil is doing. And then I think we might go and do a little bit of railroad questing. Let's go and do that dead drop quest just to get it out of our list. It'll get the grumpy doctor guy off our back for a bit. Give us some XP. But right now, yeah, let's go and speak to Virgil. Hey, Virgil. Oh my goodness. It worked. Virgil is not a big ugly brute anymore. Hello, Virgil. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. Look at you! That is incredible. Yes, incredible is what I was thinking. This is incredible. It is a significant first step, but it still only works on one strain of FEV. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. You're welcome to make use of my lab. Or help yourself to any of this junk want it in the meantime i have a lot of experiments to run excuse me protect ah now this is good i can actually have all the rubbish that he's had lying around oh look that's a nice touch he's got a normal bed he's gone back to a normal bed he's not sleeping on that big kind of metal frame anymore oh good for you virgil right let's steal all your stuff i mean borrow all this stuff yes let's have that a dinner fork that's exciting right okay he said i can have all the stuff so let's have all the stuff what's in here You've got a pipe revolver and then some muffled shadow combat armor. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that'll be worth some money. Okay, let me just go and grab everything from Virgil's lab. Now we can. Let's go and have everything. Okay, there we go. I robbed Virgil of all of his stuff, which is a bit mean. Obviously, he's then going to go, ah, oh, I've got some experiments to do. I'll just go over here and get this, uh, this circuitry that I'd stored. Oh, it's gone. Oh, never mind. I can always use this oil can that was... That's bloody gone as well. So hopefully his experiments don't require any of the stuff he left around. But uh, yeah, I am over capacity for when I'm not in the power armor. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm carrying a lot of stuff now, carrying a lot of things, killing 10 hot plates, and they're three each. They weigh three each time. So yes, I've got a, an awful lot of stuff on me. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back, drop off all the junk. Then I'm going to go and sell stuff, which will be fine. Just quickly sell it, maybe... Uh, Trash can Carl or whatever name is will be over at Sanctuary. I don't know at Boomtown. And then we shall go over here. And there it is. That one. Go to the dead drop for Dr. Carrington. Whereabouts is it? It's up near... Oh, there. Oh, fine. Yeah. So I can go to there and I can start this bit of this quest. Butcher's Bill 2. Let's get that done. Get some XP for the railroad. Okay. Stuff has been sold. Junk has been stored back at Boomtown. And you will notice that I am not near the Watts Consumer Electronics Store. I am very much near the Glowing Sea. I've had a total change of heart. We are swapping things back. We might as well, while we're on Liberty Prime duty, let's just go and do all this stuff. Let's have a little, little episode dedicated to sorting out Liberty Prime. So here we go. Let's wander up here and chat to you guys. 
you got the plum job, didn't you? Of standing here on the edge of the glowing sea with a load of horrible people around you. Hello! Halen, it's good to see you again, Knight. You've come a long way since you stumbled in the Cambridge police station. Stumbled in? I've saved your asses, thank you very much. Thanks, Halen. I assume the place is still in one piece. We're doing the best that we can. We've had the occasional synth attack, but so far we've been able to keep them from overrunning us. Thanks to the reinforcements and the air support, I'd say that site was secure. It was pretty ghouls that were there before. Yeah, what about the ferals? What about those feral ghouls? Are they still a problem? With a vertebrate at our disposal? Not a chance. Anyway, I know you don't have time for small talk, so I'll get right to it. I've had the men set up the equipment we'll need to pinpoint you once you've found the bombs. We've rigged up this distress pulser to emit a unique tone that we'll be listening for. When you find the bombs, plant the pulser, and we'll handle the rest. After that, you should probably head back to Proctor Ingram and bring her your report. Okay, right. Distress pulsers. I think we've seen one of these before in one of the very early Brotherhood quests. It was just not the thing that was damaged. Did they not have one of these on them? The Lost Patrol? Possibly. Or something very similar to that. Okay, yes, take that. Uh, okay, it doesn't sound difficult, but yeah, I imagine there's going to be something in the way. There'll probably be a few extra rad scorpions and stuff, but okay, doesn't sound difficult. Doesn't sound too difficult. Ah, oh, no, not at all. You're only heading back into the most inhospitable place in the entire Commonwealth. Look, I know you've been through the glowing sea before, but remember to keep an eye on your Geiger counter. If you don't, the radiation will cook you from the inside out. Good luck, Knight. Thanks for the advice. I am in a massive suit of power armor. I think I'm fine. Okay, locate the bomb. Oh, can I take these? Can I take that? Yeah, you don't need this ammo, do you? I could sell that and I could spend it on explosives. For the good of the Commonwealth, of course. So, it's going to tell us to go down here. So we might as well fast travel to it. And it's cleared. Now, I have no illusions that there's going to be something out there. There's going to be bloat flies or those horrible other bloody flying things that are going to come round and they're going to get me. So, right now, let's just be very careful. Okay, where do we need to go inside or can we tag the ones on the outside? No, we are actually going actually inside the building. I love the glowing sea. Look at it, even that looks brilliant. We're not even in a good bit of the glowing sea. We're in a kind of relatively flat bit of the glowing sea and it still looks good. These pools of radioactive slime everywhere. Looks very, very good. So, let's go in here then. If we've cleared it, I imagine we can just sort of swan straight through and do the stuff and tag whatever it is we're tagging and then bugger off back out again. But, I imagine because the quest is here and it knows that we've done this before, it might go, ah, oh, they're doing the quest, reactivate some baddies. So, yeah, I might do that. Also, I realised we never went into the middle, I don't think, when we did this before. We went round the outside, we went through those doors around the edges. I don't ever think I came down here into the middle. So I don't really know what's on this central bit. There's a, there's a thing with some, ooh, some wonder glue in it. That's, that's exciting. Oh, and a thing. Yeah, we'll have all that stuff. Lovely, lovely. Is there any actual purpose to this? Like, where do I need to go? What, what am I tagging? This is a bit confusing. Do I need to go all the way down there? Well, I'm in power armor. Let's just take the quick route. Boom, there we go. Yeah, okay, I'm going under here. Here we go. Ah, so essentially, I did this possibly the wrong way round, did I? Did I come here without an aim? I just wandered in. Yeah, this is the stuff we want. This is the good stuff. Okay, where am I going then? I've got to go over there, apparently. This way. So it tells me this way. Ooh, a box. A wooden crate. Oh, I missed that as well before. Go me. So yeah, am I going... This way? Up here. Am I going this way? This is this is weird and confusing. There's a lift. I assume. Am I going in the lift? There's a skeleton's leg hanging out the lift. Do I go in the lift? No, I don't go in the bloody lift. The lift will be out of order, surely. Oh, okay. I'm going up in the lift, everybody. I didn't realise this was a thing I could do. Oh, it doesn't like it very much in the power arm if I do that. Okay. Uh, right, so now I've gone up in the lift. I'm just back here again. Okay, there's a big vault door here. Is it this way? Or is that the way I just came in? No, that's the bloody way in. <laughs> okay, right. I'm a little bit confused as to where I'm going to go. Let's have a little wander about and see if there's anywhere really obvious. However, things are a little bit different to last time. 
because these doors are open. These doors were sort of very much firmly closed when I came through previously. But look, there's a dead guy. Dead skelly belly man. Something with bottle caps in. For some reason, I don't know why there would be bottle caps in there. Because he's been locked in. So why would he keep six bottle caps in his desk? I don't know. But there is also a terminal. Let's see if my fat power armor hands can work the terminal. No, we've got this thing. Yay, there we go. Uh, okay, pod alpha. Launch report. We're obviously still having issues at integrating the Mark 28 nuclear bomb with our existing ICBMs. Most likely to do with the transitional coupler not latching correctly. Yeah, yeah, it is that. I'm going to check with maintenance and see if there is something they can do. Okay, and the rest of it's all this bump. Uh, play tape. Do I want to do that? Eject the tape. Yeah, I'll have that tape. Yeah, I'll have the blast door override. Thank you very much. Don't know what I've got to do with it, but good, I'll have that. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm still a bit mystified as to where to go. I think he just wants me to go... Maybe I'm supposed to go down all the way down to where I was before. The thing there, what's that? Oh, it's a hole in a wall. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to go all the way down. Let's jump off again. There we go. And there was a bit where I went down here. Wasn't there? there was a tunnel somewhere along here. Yes, with all you bloody sods. Oh, aluminium can, love that. With all you lot. Oh, uh, and I uh, guess I don't have fond memories of this. Yeah, there were loads of ghouls around here. Maybe I'm supposed to go this way because there was a big stockpile room at the end, wasn't there, of some description. So let's just make our way all the way along to there if I can find where it is. So I think I'm still going around here. It was the big room at the end, wasn't there? There was a big room at the end and it had lots of the sort of bomb kind of stuff in if I can find it here this very room is what I'm thinking so okay do I need to open these doors do I need to open those doors somehow there's some stuff here there's some stuff there yeah I need to go on the other side of those doors right there's a door just here open the door I don't think I came this way before oh okay yeah I definitely oh there's there's something there there's something there you walk up. You will meet Atom in time, sister. Hello. I don't want to mess with you guys, but why are you here? I did not see you guys before. I just wandered straight up. Hello. Hello. Can I talk to you, Brother Henry? Hey. State your purpose, stranger. You walk on Atom's hallowed ground. My purpose? Oh, I'm, I'm going to go sarcastic because I think you guys are crazies. Oh, right. Hallowed ground. Obviously. Just look how wonderful this place is. Your mockery is wasted. The children of Atom have sworn to guard this place until the time of the Great Divide. None shall enter. Oh, I think I might enter because I'm probably going to have to kill you in the long run. Okay, uh, enough nonsense. Yeah, that's good. Enough nonsense. Let me through. I don't want to kill you. We need to use the bombs for something actually worthwhile, you maniacs. Nonsense. Tell me where the nukes are. Right now. Your anger will not bring you closer to Atom, nor to his holy works. You will leave this place at once, or face Atom's wrath. I am not scared. Okay, forgive me. Let's see if we can just get him on our side, and then we'll creep out and then lob some, some bombs in his face. Okay, forgive me, please. Forgive me. I wish to repent. And seek the wisdom of Adam. You are forgiven. Take this and prepare to enter his inner sanctum. Follow the brilliance of the glow and it shall lead you to the relics. May Adam's radiance warm your soul. Yes, it will certainly warm me up in one way. Indeed. Okay, is there anything to nab while we're around here? I can see there's something on this table. What's that? Captain Dunlevy's hollow tape. Okay. Oh, right. First things first. Let's crack into this suitcase. Okay. Ultimately disappointing. I'll take it. Sell it. Okay. Right. Captain Dunleavy's hollow tape. Here we go. Let's play it. This is Captain Mitch Dunleavy, 132nd Engineering Corps at Sentinel Site Prescott. All lines of communication are down, and we're tracking multiple inbounds on radar. This is a drill. We need confirmation immediately. We've got a lot of nervous soldiers over here, Command. This is the big one. They want to head home to their families before it's too late. Some of the inbounds are getting awfully close. Wait a minute. The inbounds are splitting into multiple targets? Oh, hell. May Atom this is it, isn't it? Sister. May God have mercy on our souls. Okay, right. So he was here when it happened, and he just thought it was a little 
a little joke or something, but no. Okay, how am I supposed to get... Like, what, what am I supposed to do now? Because I can't obviously get through here. There's nothing for me to get through to the side over here. I can't go down anywhere. There's not like a doorway or anything. I'm just overlooking everything from up here. So how do I get down there? I thought maybe you'd go through here, but but no, there's nothing in here. So I don't know. I'm supposed to go to that thing. I'm supposed to, how do I get out? I don't, oh, bottle caps are all lovely. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to get out of here. I'm a little bit confused. So let me just investigate further because I'm probably just doing something really bloody stupid. But yeah, let me just have a little explore around. Okay, so I know I'm not supposed to go up here. This takes me up and out. There's nothing particularly up there that I want to go to. Right, do I have to use this computer just here? It just says I've got Henry's password. Yeah, look, Henry's terminal. Unlock Henry's terminal password. Can I have a go at that? Did he, has he given me his password? Oh, that's what I've got to do. Okay, remote door control. Let us open the big red door and go through that way. There we go. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, okay, that seems really bloody obvious now. Okay, let's go through here. There's a gun turret up there. Something tells me I should have possibly deactivated that. Right, I've located the Mark 28 nuclear stockpile. It's quite substantial. There's an awful lot of these here. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's have a little run through. Is it exciting? There's some rad certainly ticking up, but that's fine. I've got rad away. I've got the uh, mutant hound meat. I can ask for that to knock that back down. Yeah, looks, this looks good in here. Okay, now I imagine... As soon as I do this thing here, he's going to get very cross. He is going to be a cross man. So let's do that there. Right, is he going to be cross? Return to Proctor Ingram. No, he's not shooting at me just yet. Is he going to shoot at me now? Hello, I've just marked this for the Brotherhood to come and have. The Brotherhood are going to destroy the holy artifacts that you specified. Yeah, and I see Atom's Wrath. Talk. I can talk to you. Okay, yes, let's talk to you. You sound fun. Ma'am. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought I might be able to have a conversation with you, but you just go, ma'am. Mmm, radioactive noodles. Magically vanishing radioactive noodles. Even better. Okay, that's it then. Fine, okay, I've done that then. Again, no fighting involved. Lovely, lovely. Let's get the lift and let's get out of here. Yeah, there's lots of flying nasty things. I don't want to go over there. I'm going to kind of creep back around this way, just fast travel straight back, because there were lots of like, sting wings and stuff over there. I do like that, though, even through the gloom. Look, you can see the taller buildings of Boston, and there, right there, look, is the Pridwin, just sort of hovering just in view. It's a little bit better if you look like that. There we go. You can see the Pridwin from here. I can see home. Lovely. Well, my second home. Okay, so the thing is, return to Proctor Ingram. Lots of toing and froing, but okay, let's go back. Talk to Ingram again. He's got legs. Liberty Prime's got legs and arms and things. And you're sat down here working on his toes. Very important to have fully functional toes for Liberty Prime in case he needs to kick anybody. Look at you. Beautiful. A giant kind of 1960s big stampy robot type thing that's lovely i like liberty prime okay ingram ingram i've done the missile -y thing. Ooh, what's that Ooh, gantry control area terminal yes let's have a look at that what does that do liberty prime current status cpu online mobility online weapons offline fusion core offline oh i suspect i'm going to be sent for a gigantic bloody fusion core okay liberty prime work reports what are these then oh okay these are just little reports. Oh, I like this. This is good. So work is progressing at rapid pace, doing a heck of a job. Metal working, the electrical wiring and the limb assembly. Oh, that's the easy part. Okay, that's the power system stuff. So now I'll probably say thanks to our new recruit. That's Dr. Lee. We're able to get a specialist. Oh, no, our new recruit is me. We're able to get a specialist on site, Dr. Lee, to lend a hand with power problems. Next on the list is getting electromagnetic actuators built for his legs. This will be about actuators and then about weapons, I imagine. There we go. Arming him with bombs, getting his core started. So yeah, all that remains is now getting Prime's arms and legs attached done. Arming him with bombs, core. Okay, well if I go back and tell you that the bombs are now they're sort of ready, they've got to go pick them up. Bombs will be ready. I imagine you're going to send me off for a fusion core of some description, but hello, bombs are good. Proctor, looks like the Mark 28s are going to do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee... I have to admit, 
We couldn't have done this without you. Hmm. It's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep the system stable are going to hold. Right, okay. So now what do we do? Oh, right, sorry, I wasn't looking at you enough. Um, yeah, it'll work. I have confidence it'll work. You lot are very good. There's a gigantic floating airship up there that seems to be still in the sky. So I think you can build a gigantic stampy death robot. Yeah, it'll work. I have full confidence in everyone's abilities here. I appreciate that. Proctor, all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm going to let you press the button. After all, without your help... We'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. If all I'm doing is pressing a button, I don't think it needs a trained technician. I think anybody could do this. A child could do this. My four-year-old child could come and press a big red button. Okay, right, I'm going to perform a power shunt. It sounds obscene. Do we not want to get this little dude out of the way of the bomb? What if he shunts his legs forward? They're going to get squished. Fine, okay, yeah, I'm going to press the power transfer switch. Hopefully this won't blow everything up. Press the button, and... Back online. Yes. Okay, that sounded very cool. Command accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module online. Audio functionality test. Initialized. Designation. Liberty Prime. Mark II. Mission. The liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Uh. Targets. Any and all red Chinese invaders. Are you sure he's quite configured correctly? Analysis and battle readiness check. Liberty Prime. Full system analysis. All systems, nominal, weapons, hot. Warning, nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning, power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. I've got green lights across the board here. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. Thanks. Yeah, I know it's good. What about this power core? Can't help but feeling that you're going to be start, start sending me off to look for power cores and stuff soon. So come on, spill the beans. What was that he said about his power core? Prime's in top shape, but his nuclear engine needs to be restarted. Right now, we have him running off of the Pridwin's engines. Once I get that sorted out, we'll send him off to kick in the Institute's front door. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. Oh, what is it? A T-60 medic pump? Okay. Thank you very much. Do you think I'll need that? You think I'll need it for my next assignment? I don't know, but it never hurts to be prepared. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Is there not a minor concern about... Hey, level up. About Liberty Prime thinking that he's going to go and liberate Alaska and kill a load of Chinese communists? Because... He's not going to Alaska, and he's not killing communists. So, uh, yeah, that, that's a minor issue. Okay, so the next quest then, that's finished. A Liberty Prime quest on is done. The next quest is Blind Betrayal. So I don't know what that is at the moment. I don't know what Blind Betrayal is. But, yeah, I thought, I would have thought that it would be go and find the broken fusion core thing, or replacement, or whatever, for Liberty Prime. But clearly not. There is something more important to do. Okay. What we might do then, let's go and have a quick look at this. I don't know if this will be a big thing or a small thing, but we can at least go to the dead drop. In fact, let's level up. So 38. I still think we're one level shy. 
of the golden levels. The next four coming up. So yeah, Armourer is what we want next, really. So I wrote a little list down. Let me dig out the list that I want to do. List of upgrades. In fact, no, no, this is the golden level because it's 38, 39, 40 and 41. Of course it is. Level 38 means we can have sneak. We can have the top level of sneak. Engaging stealth causes distant enemies to lose me. Why not? Let's have that. That seems like a pretty good thing. So if there is someone distant, if there's a death claw or something chasing me and I go into sneak mode, they're going to give up entirely. Just give up on me, which is beautiful. We've maxed out sneak. Even though, we're, you know, I never knew you could zoom in on this screen. I never knew that zooming in was a thing. Oh, look, you get nice big close-ups of the little animations of the, the little vault guy. That's good. Okay, so that's that done. Yeah, let's go and just kick off Butcher's Bill 2. Blind Betrayal, I imagine, is going to be a big, big quest line. It's going to be big and expansive. We're going to have loads of very stuff to do because it's an urgent mission. So maybe we'll tackle that next time. At the moment, let's just see what this is. What is Butcher's Bill 2? What do you want me to do? Carrington, let's go and find your dead drop then. Here we go. Let's fast travel over there. I've realised with some horror, I'm not in the power armour. Let's go back, get the power armour and fast travel back here when we're not woefully underdefended. There we go. I'm back here in the power armor. So yeah, I've got at least a bit of defense and a minor chance of survival in case something horrible happens. So yeah, there's nothing around, I don't think. Yeah, so the dead drop stuff is over here. A bird, a bird. Okay, several birds. In real life, this is this is a little interesting fact there. My house backs onto a park, a lovely park, and there are crows in the park. And the crows, hopefully not as in evil and sinister looking as these buggers here, but yeah, they land on my windows and keep pecking at my windows. And they land on my car and peck my car windows, and it's really bloody annoying. So I'm tempted to kill these guys, but I'm going to leave them because I don't want to waste an explosive and blow them up. If only I could do that to the actual real life ones that are scourging me. Okay, is there any money? Bottle caps, I'll have that. Right, bottle cap, bobby pin, blackbird report. Okay, let's find Agent Blackbird. Let's read about the Blackbird report. In fact, let's not read about it. Let's listen to it, shall we? Blackbird spotted. Badly injured. Way too many hostiles for the runner to engage. Request assistance from HQ. Okay, so Blackbird is where? Where is Blackbird? Over where somewhere? Where's Blackbird? I don't understand where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, here! Okay, find Agent Blackbird. Okay, so the Revere Satellite Array, I can fast travel to that, or the Reeb Marine. The Reeb Marine is probably a bit safer, to be honest. In fact, County Crossing is probably even safer. All I've got to do is walk across there. So yeah, let's fast travel to County Crossing. Let's go and look for Blackbird as the last act that we do in this particular video. We can certainly have a look for him. If it's going to start off a big series of sort of questy clues and we have to go venture across the Commonwealth, we'll do a couple maybe, then we might finish this Hey, off next time out. I don't know. But there we go. Hello. Oh, who's here actually? Who's here? Oh, the bloody doctor. Dodgy doctor. Yes. Hello. I just got nine XP for some reason. No, I'm not interested. Sod off. You're a weirdy doctor anyway. Okay, let's go this way. So we're going past the National Guard training yard again. My favorite place in the world. What's this building? Is there anything here? No reason for that to be there. Okay. Oh, do you know what? Are they, is that meat fruit? Right. I've got a little meat fruit sort of orchard, I suppose, is it? Or whatever. I don't know. A plantation back at Boomtown. But it is the limiting factor I have when trying to craft my own adhesive. Because it's one of the components for getting the sort of vegetable starch, whatever it is, that's your own adhesive that you can make. And meat fruit is always the limiting factor. So if I grab a couple of those, some of those can be free. I could plant a few more mute fruit plants, and that should hopefully sort that out. Right, okay, we need to go over here. Now, there is a robot there. Is that that weird... Yeah, okay, we're going to leave that alone. That was the... There's a house, isn't there? A little sort of shack thing, which is really weird. But, yeah, there's something over there. What's that? Is that Brahmin? Okay, fine. Oh, oh, dudes, dudes, come this way. I've inadvertently wandered towards some blood bugs, but you guys can take care of it because you can shoot them. The blood bugs are horrible to take on with bloody explosives. Hello, I've brought death to your door. Look, look, insects are coming. Oh, attack of the insect. You don't care, do you? Okay, fine. Yes, that's it. Kill them. Kill the insects. Kill the insects. Kill it for me. Do get off me, you bloody horrible bug. Get off. Go away. Kill it, please. Kill it quicker. You're taking too long to kill it. 
quicker. Oh, and that's firing again now. Oh, no. Yay. There we go. That's okay. Th thanks. There's another one, though. Another one. What's that noise? It's another blood bug thing. It's horrible and scary. Ah! Get off! Go away! How can you just attack me? Why don't you go and pick on someone else? Oh, no. Now they're taking that on. They're taking on that up there. No! Oh, and you've gone over to, the <laughs> you've gone over to fight the settlers at the bloody thing. This is bad. This has not turned out right. Okay, blood bug, you need to die. But you need to also stay still a little bit. Because you're too quick. Right, yeah, that's it. There, stay there. Molotov on you. Did that not kill you? Oh, you're not even... You're marginally hurt. Dudes, here, help, help with this thing. Help kill this thing, please. Yeah, that's it. You go shooting it. Yes, you're doing a good job. You are a good person. Well done, caravan guard number one. Yep. Right. While they're doing that, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run away. Bravely, bravely running away and getting stuck on a bit of the scenery. Here we go. Let's go over here. Let's try not to attract the attention of the super mutants up there as well in the satellite array. Because that would also be unfortunate. Let's just try and creep as best we can and find Blackbird and then get the hell out of here. Ah, right. Yes. This is good. Is this hub flower? Yeah, there we go. Grab one of those. That means we can make some of the, uh, what was it? The grape mentats or berry mentats or something like that. We can make different mentats, sell them for a little bit more money, which is nice. Ah, a vertibird. Good job. Where were you guys a few seconds ago? There were some insects and I couldn't deal with it. What's that in the air? What is that? Oh, it's just some floating foliage. It's had a bit of a graphical glitch to it. Okay. Here's a fridge. 12 caps in a fridge. Okie doke. Good. Right. Oh, no. There's something over here. It doesn't look very... What the hell happened there? Right. Massive explosion. Huge explosion. There's a lighthouse over there. That looks very pretty. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm not really... I'm not really feeling it around here. This place looks dangerous and scary. Okay. I'm in caution. There's loads of explodey things happening. Oh, what is in there? What is this? Okay. This looks bad. This looks bad. This could be a bit of a bigger quest line than I thought. I thought it was just going to be a nice, simple... Go and find this person. He's just sitting about, but no. I've just got another 9 XP from something. I don't know. Right, there's a dude there. There's a Raider Waster. Hey, Raider Waster. Got a present for you. We, it's Christmas time. Open this. Boom. Oh, you didn't like it. Never mind. Right, you. You can go and have a grenade as well. That's probably the vertebird crash landing. There we go. That's probably hurt you. I hope. Oh, survivalist. Yes. Okay, right. Lob another one in. Quick. The survivalist might try and heal up. There we go. A little present for you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, right. Okay, there's an attack dog. And I'm stuck in the scenery. I'm stuck in the scenery. There was an attack dog literally upon me. There we go. That was a thing that I didn't know. Okay. We need a mine. We need to drop a little mine behind us. Frag mine. Here we go. Let's drop a frag mine. There we go. Come this way, dudes. And you've gone round the frag mine. You think you're clever, do you? Have a frag mine right there in your face. Have another frag mine right there in your faces. And also in my face. So there we go. Book return token. Three of those. Cool. Okay. Where's that dog? Right, I'll have the mongrel dog meat. Uh, that'll do. There's, there's fighting happening. Are the Brotherhood taking on? Oh, brother. Is this a bit of vertebird? Is this some vertebird? Brotherhood, stop taking on people. Yes. You Well, that's your own stupid bloody fault, Brotherhood. Don't take on a massive load of those guys. Right. There was a mine around here. There was a mine and you did not trigger it. And I want it back. Even though I'm being shot at quite violently by... Oh, bugger off! Go away, butcher face! I have no qualms with you! Sod off! Oh, miraculously that did no damage to you. Okay, fine. Right, I see this is going to be a problem. Let's get round the corner. Let's... Oh, crikey, let's heal up. That, yeah, that might be... <laughs> this might be advisable. Let's have something to eat. I think we've got a tiny bit of radiation. Not enough to warrant using one of the mutant hound chops, though. All right, rad scorpion stick. They're using energy weapons. Let's get some energy resistance going so I don't get quite as hurt by them. Why? Oh, for goodness sake. Thanks, Brotherhood, then. So, essentially, the Brotherhood appeared. I had nothing to do with them, and now they're bloody causing problems for me. Yeah. 
useless asses. Right, hang on. Let's lob that. Let's see if that grenade lands near him. Let's see if it hurts him. Bang. Right. Has that hurt you? Any? Surely it must have done. It must have bloody hurt you. Right. Butcher face. Have this. Go oh, quick, 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 quick. Yes. And then just a regular grenade at your feet. Hopefully that'll be enough to kill you. And boom. Right. You're dead. Good. Now what I might do right now is let's just grab your stuff. A missile launcher and a super safe. I'll have all those cool things. Yes, I'll take all those cool things. Right, let's try and go into this building. Can we creep through the... Well, I say creep. Can we go through the building and go out the other side? Without attracting anyone's attention. There we go. This is good. This is good. I like this. Ah, right. We're just here. Ideally, we want the dudes to start following us. What's that down there? There's something there. I don't... I can't... That's it. So I can't see what it is. What is that? You're here. You're here. Okay, I can hear super mutants. But I don't want to fight you, super mutants. I don't I don't want to fight. Leave me alone. Go and fight someone else. Go and fight all the bloody raiders around here, it seems. So yeah, there were some raiders over here. That light seen me. Gotta come out sooner or later. Yep. I don't know if there are any other raiders alive around here. Okay. Oh there are, right. There's a raider waster just there. Oh, there's several raiders over there. There's a legendary raider over there. Right, okay. That much What the hell just exploded? What the heck just exploded? Right, you, you're in there, so you should be easy to target. Let's just lob a grenade in and it can bounce next to you. Bang, you're dead. Let's try and throw a grenade through that gap. That should get you. Bang, you're dead. There's a dude down there. Let's see if we can get a grenade to not fall off the edge of the thing. Is that going to be enough to kill you? No. Okay, Molotov might be required for you because you're hiding there. So let's lob a Molotov. Boom, you're on fire, which is encouraging. The survivalists can hopefully burn. No, you've come out. I've drawn you out of your hiding place. This is good. Ah, the guy down there has a rocket launcher. That is possibly the issue. Right, a pulse grenade might be enough to finish you off. If I can get a pulse grenade behind there. Oh, and that was a massive nuclear bomb. And that, that did not go well. Did I just survive a hit from a fat man? Goodness me. Okay, right. I might need a couple of stim packs to help me heal there. Oh my goodness me. This is not ideal. I just need to kill you two buggers. Right. You. Another one of those. Have that. Have that grenade. Kill him, please. Kill him. Oh, for goodness sake. How did that not kill him? He was right there. Right. Fire. Fire on you. Bang. Dead. Right. Okay, yeah. No fair. Ah, cross. Right, we need to get that guy with the rocket launcher thing. Plasma grenade. I think that's probably the best thing. How do you know I'm a girl? How can you even tell? Right, but you, we need to get you with one of those like that. Because I don't want you to kill me, please. Right, legendary raider hurt. And a normal grenade in your face should, I imagine, be enough. Yes, in your big dead face. Right, I'm still in danger. Oh, for God's sake, there's a bloody... There's super mutants coming now. Oh, for goodness sake. Sod off. I've got no qualms with you guys. A poisonous fat man. Target is poisoned for 10 seconds. Look at the value of that. Look at the value. Oh, my goodness. If I get anything near enough for that. All these guys have got book return tokens. You're very well read... Uh, very well read raiders. Good. I'm glad. I'm pleased. I'm glad you're well read. Okay. Stand on that grenade, please. No, you're not standing on the grenades enough. You. I'll stop standing down there. Oh, God. There's... Oh, good. You two can fight each other. That's fine. Right. Super mutant. Go. Let's throw a grenade there and it can lodge itself against there. And hopefully that'll be enough to kill you. Okay. That super mutant seems to be invincible, but fine. Okay. I'm going to let those lot fight each other for a little bit. I'm going to pick up the caps from there. Let's just go along here for a bit. Right, I can see something over there as well. I don't like the look of that. Infected blood bug. Okay, I'm not going to go any further that way. But they are fighting each other at the moment quite nicely. There's raiders and there's super mutants. So let's let them kill each other for a bit. Just kill each other as much as you can. Once I can take the other side out, in the meantime, I can have a little look around. In fact... I can heal up a tiny bit. There we go. What can I have now? Okay, let's have 
some mole rat chunks. Mmm, delicious. And yeah, let's have a little wander about here and just see what there is. And then we'll check back and see if they are done killing each other. Okay, there's a raider. He's right in front of me. He hasn't seen me yet. He's clearly very bloody and observant. Okay, he's gone up the stairs. Now, I'm very good at sneaking, so I assume that's why he did not spot me. They're still fighting each other. He's gone, presumably, up the stairs. So where does he get? There's a safe. I like that. Oh, right. Okay, yes. He's seen me now. Hello. Oh, no. You've got a bloody weapon. Yeah, okay. You're a hitty type person. Let's get... Let's use a cryo mine. Why not? Let's use a cryo mine. Let's drop the cryo mine. Just... Are you not bothering to follow me? You're not coming out. Okay. I'm going to put the cryo mine just here. You're going to run past it. You're going to miraculously not get hurt by a cryo mine at all. I don't know how that just happened. You ran over a mine. You just literally ran across the top of a mine. How did you not get hurt? There, that hurt you. How did that cryo mine not hurt you? I'm really confused. Okay, fine. Yeah, clearly it didn't do enough dam. It, well, it didn't do any damage. Okay, fine. You, you're, you're magic. You're magical. Okay. There's still raider wasters and stuff around. I can. I can hear all sorts of people around. This is a stupid place. Okay, the super mutants are still down there. You are dead. So the super mutants down there. I don't think they've seen me. Can I get a grenade down there? Yes, I can get a grenade on certainly near that super mutant. There we go. Bang. That's killed one of them at least. If not both of them? Are they both dead? Oh, lovely. Okay, good. Right. Now maybe I can have a walk around without getting the crap blasted out of me. Okay, what's my carry weight? Okay, not very much at all. Let's grab some of this stuff just because I can sell it. That's very good. Ugh, okay, that's a bit grim. Okay, let's go along here. There's some super mutants. We'll certainly have any ammo you've got. Oh, and all that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah, there's some people in there, I think. There were raiders in there, but I'm guessing, given that the super mutants are still alive, that the raiders are dead. So let me just go and check. There's a body here. Yeah, we'll have all yours. Oh, Molotov. Thank you very much. That replenishes the Molotovs a little bit. I'm a bit low on Molotovs. A little bit low on them. And possibly need to start crafting some more. But they take so much bloody oil. And they're not that effective in terms of the damage they cause. But it's just the fact they're an immediate hit is the best thing about it. More book return tokens. Is there a book return machine somewhere? Yes, there is. Look, there's a book return machine just here. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll have lots of these very cool things. Ooh, massive lag spike just there. That was a bit grim. Right, we'll have all those things. Right, book return terminal. What can I get from this if I can wipe the blood off the screen? That's a bit grim, isn't it? Well, let's return overdue books. I think I have one. So, yeah, overdue book. Right, spend tokens. What can I get? How many have I got? 17 tokens. I can get frag grenade. Ah, somebody did point this out on the comments. They did say there is another place where there is a book return token machine with useful stuff in. That's not so bad. Right, well, let's get ourselves a frag grenade. Now I know it's here. And look, a fusion core is 50 tokens. So I've currently got 17. Okay, yeah, let's have a frag grenade. Yeah, why not? Might as well. I'm not going to use it for anything else. Okay, so now I've only got two. I've got two tokens. So in theory, if I get 60 tokens, I could get the rest of those frag grenades. Or I could get a stim pack. It's not very good. The fusion core would be okay. Jet is expensive. I suppose if I had loads, I could get the jet and sell it. Okay, good. There we go. Lovely. So there was a point to all this then. Okay. Is there anything else around? What is that? Oh, yes. Like, a, like an arcade machine. Oh, I like it here. It's good in here. Okay, I'm just going to have a quick scout around here just to make sure that I've got all the useful, th well, useful things or sellable items. And then I'm just going to go and see where the quest marker is trying to take me. Okay, I'm on the top floor of this bit. There is, unfortunately, there's a steamer trunk, which is master locked, which is a shame. There's a bag here, so I shall have all of the things from there. And there is a skills magazine. There is a magazine. Live and love. Let's have a look what that does. 
permanently gain plus one look from alcohol when adventuring with a companion. Well, that's a very specific thing, isn't it? Okay, fine. So I'm probably hardly ever going to be able to use that. So this is where they're obviously coming out and shooting at people from. It's quite a good vantage point up here, isn't it? Okay, there's a lot around here. Okay, that is... That's Fort Strong there, is it? Is that Fort Strong over there? Where's Fort Strong? Or is that more over... Oh, no, that's Fort Strong. What's that, then? There's a little sort of spit going all the way over there. I might go and investigate that one day. Okay, let's plumb it down here. Then in the power armor, boom, down we go. Okay, there was a safe through here. So let me just go and run up these stairs, see if we can get into that safe, or if it's too high a level for us to crack into. Okay, there's somebody up there. There is a very unobservant person. There is somebody up here. They just sort of looked at me and then wandered away again as though they couldn't see me. So let's lob a little grenade just in front of them. Hopefully this will sort them out. Bang. Oh, okay. Their leg is hurt. Okay. Can you be dead, please? Oh, right. Okay. You're nearly dead. Let's baseball grenade you. Let's drop a little baseball grenade up there for you to have. Come on, impact radius. Come on. No, did absolutely nothing. Okay, if you're walking after me. Come on out. I'm stood in front of you, for goodness sake. Let's drop a cryo mine down. Hello, cryomine for you, there you go. Oh, and it hurt me quite significantly. It hurt me quite a lot. You do a frag grenade though, so that's good. Right, I might need to heal up before I do anything. Unfortunately, the safe is bloody master lock, so coming up here was utterly pointless. Oh, maybe not. I can get some of this other stuff, but I do need to heal up. My vision is going blurry. I'm not very happy. Poor Betty. <laughs> Poor Betty has been taking some severe damage. Okay, fine. Let's just drop down here. Let's heal Betty up. There we go. I've had a couple of stim packs, so it has helped. It should take the edge off. Right, and I'm being told to go in here. For goodness sake. Okay, right. So this is where we're going to leave it for today. Revere Beach Station. We're going to go in there next time, and we shall figure out what has happened to Agent Blackbird. Because that is our current quest from the Brotherhood. And then, uh, from the Brotherhood? No, it's not. It's from the Railroad. And then, we shall go and have a word with the Brotherhood. We'll go and see what Elder Maxon wants us to do. Because blind betrayal sounds very intriguing. So, yeah, we'll do this. We'll find Agent Blackbird, whether he's alive or dead. I'm assuming he's going to be dead. And then we'll go and speak to Elder Maxon. In the meantime, I might try and do this broken monorail quest. As with the other ones, I'm just going to try and run up to it. But it's in a bit of a weird place. It's not a place I've found. And it might be fairly tricky to get to. So it might be worth showing that. I don't know. I don't know if that'll be a good thing to do or not. But yeah, if I find time, I might go have a look. If it proves to be really hard to do, then yeah, I won't obviously do it off screen. Because it might involve throwing grenades around and exploding things. And that's fun to watch, I'm assuming. Anyway, I hope it is. So yeah, next time we'll finish this. We shall go into Revere Beach Station. We shall find... The remains, presumably, of Agent Blackbird. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. How are we doing? You've just circumvented the queue! You, sir, a cheat. Oh my goodness me, there's 12 million people that just come in from an airplane. Are you a skeleton? Are you just Skeletor? Is that all it is? You, madam. You are a pain. You are a scourge upon this earth. People are urinating on the floor. <laughs>